they're good looking, give me 15 minutes and I will hit every muscle in your lower body. That is right. Join me for this leg every minute on the minute EMOM workout. All you need is one moderate to heavy dumbbell. For reference, I'm using a 15. All right, let's get going. Hello there and welcome. I'm PJ from fitnesswithpj.com as well as over50fitness.co. And hey, if you're watching this on YouTube, click that subscribe button. I would love to keep um, sending more workouts your way. And if you are on Over 50 Fitness app, hey, this is day five of our May Muscle Hustle, baby. I am so proud of you. There goes Bella. Bye, Bella. <laughs> all right, let's get warmed up and then we'll begin the EMOM. Here we go. Let's take ourselves down onto all fours, wrists under shoulders, knees apart underneath the hips. And let's just go through a spinal range of motion series here. Inhaling, letting the low back sag and then exhaling and pushing the ground away. Yes, if you're not part of Over 50 Fitness yet, hey, come and join us. There's a free 14-day trial down below, and you'll be able to join us in our May Muscle Hustle. 31 days of workouts to get you fitter, stronger, and healthier. Last one. And release. All right, take that right leg in front, and you're going to go on an angle for me, all right? And then bring the heel in. Now guide that knee so it's going past the toe box, working into your calf and ankle. We're trying to keep the heel on the ground, so my ankles are really tight, so I'm going to anchor my heel here with my, le my left arm. It'd be your right arm if you're mirroring me. Last two. And one. Now take this leg completely out for me. Bring the arms in front, and then sit right back on your heels, and then drive forward. So rocking forward and back to warm up into the adductors, your inner thigh, and then get further into the hip here. Last two. One more. Other side. All right, so our setup, okay? So it's on an angle, and then bring the heel towards you more. And then we're going to guide that knee. And I'm actually pushing a bit on my thigh here to guide my knee further past the toe, so I can really feel it working on that ankle. The reason this ankle mobility is so important is it helps you with better looking squats. So it all starts with the foot for any um, movement pattern really. And then with your squat pattern, it starts with the ankle. Last two, one more. Excellent, let's take that leg out now. Okay, bring your arms forward, rock yourself forward and back, sitting right back on your heel. Your right leg now is straight, your toes pointed towards me and is active. So you're pulling it towards the shin a bit. Last two. One more. Excellent. All right, take yourself into a standing position, uh, warming up into the hips some more. Arms up and drop it down for a squat. We have 12 of them. Arms are up, so we open up the chest. We work a little bit into the T-spine here. And then just take a peek. We want the knees tracking with the toes. Good. Two more, last one, beautiful. Now bring the feet in a little bit, hands light behind the ears, soften the knees and then bend your, or sorry, bend your knees a bit and push your hips right back for a good morning. So what we're learning here is a hip hinge. We'll be doing our first exercise, holding on at a dumbbell for this. So I really want you to understand what that is, that you're moving through the crease of the leg there, through the hip, not through your waistband or your lower lumbar back. Excellent. Last two. One more. Good. Keep the hands here. Step back with that one foot and then twist towards the front knee and then step back with the other leg and twist. Excellent. So your lunge pattern can go as deep as it feels comfortable for your knees. And then we add that twist to the front leg. Last four. Three, two, and one. All right. So we have three leg exercises to do, different reps in one minute. The faster you get it done, the longer your break is before we hit minute two. 
We have 10 rounds. Don't you dare leave me. You're going to like this. So first off, I need to see, is this crooked? No. <laughs> from, my, from my angle, that looked crooked. And I'm a little OCD. It would have driven me nuts the entire workout. So bend your knees, pick up your dumbbell. Our first, we have eight Romanian deadlifts. So it looks like this. All right. So why don't we follow along? We'll do it together. Ready, set, go. Four, eight, chest up. Remember that hip hinge. Seven, push through the heels, drive all the way up. Six, you can also use a kettlebell for this. Four, three, two, one more. One, hold it in goblet style, feet wide. Drop it down, hold the squat. Now tap out here. There's one, we have six. Two, three, four, five, stay low, six, drive all the way up, and now eight squats, go eight. If you're able to, I want the elbows touching the top of your thighs. All right, and that's the way it goes. You have 10 seconds, and then we're taking it back to the top, eight RDLs. Feet are shoulder width apart, bend the knees, go. Push through the heels. Now, if you're finding that this is a little too intense because of the rep count, you could drop your rep count down a couple of reps or do body weight. When you've done the eight there, up, sink, and tap. Six of them, each side is one count. When you've done that, come all the way up and eight squats. And then you get your break. So in 15 seconds, we go to round three. Whew, this is gonna get your heart rate up too, FYI. <laughs> We're gonna get everything today and it's gonna get your core. All right, eight RDLs. Remember, it's pushing your bum back, go. So you push your back, bum back, as far as it'll go back. When it can't go anymore, that's your stopping point. You may hit the ground before that, or you may not. You wanna hinge through, that, hinge through those hips. When you've done eight, dumbbell held up, sink down in the squat, and then tap. Six of them. Good, then come up and eight squats. And you kind of got to move when you get to this part, if you want to rest. <laughs> Excellent. All right, 20 more seconds. I'm gonna grab a quick sip of water. So this series here that we're doing is literally hitting every muscle in your body, okay? Well, in your lower body. Core included, so probably about here, <laughs> from chest down. All right, so we have eight RDLs. Feet just a bit wider than the shoulders, go. Shoulder blades squeeze together, keep that spine. Good, looking up even when you're down. So remember, this is getting too much. Get rid of the dumbbell. See if you can keep the rep count, but get rid of the dumbbell, and then we can build up from there, right? You showed up. I am so proud of you. So let's keep moving. In 10 more seconds, go back to eight RDLs. Remember, it's the hips pushing back. In three, two, one, and it's a go. Head up. Drive all the way up. Squeeze the booty on the way back up. Six of those, and then eight squats. Elbows to thighs. Ooh. 
Whew. Yep. <laughs> Heart rate's getting up there. <laughs> so yeah, we've got quads, hamstrings, hips, glutes, erector spinae, big muscle group in the low back, transverse abdominis, side body. All right, you ready? RDLs for eight, go. Get wide with the goblet squat. Wider if you have tight hips, that might feel more comfortable. And it's eight of them. Whew. And if you gotta get rid of the dumbbell and shake out the hands, go for it. The hands can fatigue holding onto the dumbbell this whole time. But good news, we're past the halfway. All right, in less than 10 seconds, back to eight RDLs, okay? So feet shoulder width apart, ready, set, go. Squat and tap, six. Goblet, eight. Toes turned out, so knees and toes track out. Head up, chest up, good. Pull those shoulder blades together, dumbbells close to the body, places less stress on your low back. Whew, 20 seconds to go, moving on. I really love EMOMs. If you've been with me for a while, you know I do. <laughs> We've got quite a few. But uh, yeah, I like them. Here we go. In five seconds, eight RDLs. Ready? Go. Drive through the heels. Come all the way up. Static squat. Tap it. Six of them. Come up. Station those feet wide, eight, go. Whew, all right, I need another sip. We only have two more rounds after this. Hey, how good are we? We are damn good. 10 more seconds. Eight RDLs in five, three, two, one, go. Squat and tap, six of them. Feet wide, drop it for eight. When you're doing the squat and tap, be really quiet in the upper body as well. So a lot more core control required for that. Whew. Whew. You're looking good, all right? We only have one more round after this. And then I have nothing more up my sleeve because I don't have sleeves. Ha, 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 ha. I know. <laughs> Bad dad joke. All right, in 10 seconds, we have eight RDL. <laughs> in three, two, one, last set, go. Oh, I just kept going. <laughs> I did a dozen. <laughs> Focus, BJ. <laughs> 
So that's a clear indication then that I wasn't lifting heavy enough for my deadlift. If I could just keep going and wasn't thinking about it. Yep. So busted on that. Whew. All right, crew, last 10 seconds. When you're done, bend those knees to get that dumbbell down, shake it out. We are done though in three, two, one. Yes! Woo! We just hit everything. All right. Now the heart rate is up there because we use the muscles of the lower body. They are large muscles requiring a lot of pump from the heart to get the blood down there. So we're just gonna let the heart rate come down a bit and then we'll do some stretches because I think our legs deserve it. What do you think? <laughs> All right, now feet apart. Inhale, bend the knees, arms come up. Exhale, float them down. That's lovely, let's do two more. Here we go, inhale, exhale. And last one, inhale, exhale. Nice. All right, let's take ourselves into a hip flexor stretch, but we're going to spice it up a little bit. So I want you to double up your mat and then place your back knee on that. Now come forward and land yourself on that same side hand. Now bend your back leg and grab onto it with the other arm and you're gonna rotate your body towards that leg in front of you. So keep holding, I'm just gonna adjust me so you can see me a little, little better. So here we'll get hip flexor in addition to quad. Now listen, if this is too much of a pretzel stretch and you're thinking PJ, <laughs> there is not a chance. Keep holding that if you can, but if not, you're here, all right? And you're going to tilt the tailbone under and then reach up and over. That one down there, grabbing onto the foot, is really intense. So it's not gonna be for everybody, but I don't just want you to sit there and wait till we're done. I still want you to stretch into the hip flexor so that we can build that mobility and flexibility so we can get you down there, if that's what you want. <laughs> if you were my husband, he'd be like, yeah, no, that's not a goal of mine, honey. That's not my goal. <laughs> that's your goal. <laughs> I hear that a lot. <laughs> All right, let's do the other side. So again, if the twisting and grabbing onto the back leg isn't for you, then you'll do the hip flexor stretch. Otherwise, join me here. Good, and I have to kind of bring my foot in a bit before I can grab it. And then I'm opening up the chest. This bottom wrist is lined up with the shoulder. Just try to drop that hip towards the mat as we hold it. Maybe on the exhale, just releasing more into that hip flexor and quad. And release, woo! All right, seated for me. Bend the knees slightly, hands are behind you, propping you up. Left ankle over right thigh. Walk that right foot in towards the bum. Now straighten the arms and Position your chest close to the shin. Now, the closer you are to this leg here, the more challenging the stretch is in that hip and glute, so you play around with it. So I hope you enjoyed the workout. Please leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. And then over 50 fitness peeps, make sure you head to our private Facebook group and let me know how you're doing on the May Muscle Challenge. Muscle Hustle. All right, bend the elbows, let's exit that leg, other one up, and chest towards that thigh. But if you're on YouTube and you are kind of struggling with what workouts to do, you know, come in, you can support the channel if you like the channel, support it on Patreon, and, and they get a workout calendar that takes them to all the workouts here on YouTube, so it's still the same workouts, but I do the programming for them. <laughs> so you can check that out. The link is down below. Release. Both legs out in front. Keep them active. Back of the knees pressing into your mat. Feet towards you. Hands behind you. Press yourself forward. Lengthening into your spine and your hamstrings.
And now I'll allow you to round and just grab onto the shins or ankles or heck, if you're able to, your feet. And just breathe into it. And release. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. And like I said before, if you're watching on YouTube, click subscribe. Not only can I get more workouts to you, you'll also help the channel here on YouTube. And over 50 fitness peeps, we will chat with you in our private Facebook group. Have a great rest of your day and we will see you next workout. Bye.